tell you what, I'm going to try to net them. I don't want to miss them. I don't know how good I got them hooked. But... Welcome back to Fishing with Vance. Today's episode is going to be about hunting for bigger fish. I'm going to a lake that uh, generally holds bigger fish. The numbers usually when I go there are a lot less. Um, you know, we're not going to catch uh, 10 or 20 here. It's going to be, you know, half a dozen at best, I would say. And uh, but they tend to be a little more, a little more uh, good quality bass. So we'll see what happens. Uh, the weather is a little touchy. It's uh, it's a, it's today's going to be the warmest day of the week. The rest of the week, it's actually you know forecasted to be you know almost uh, rain and even some snow uh, towards the middle to end of the week. So I'm going to get after it today while the sun's shining. It's not all that warm. It's still only about 40 some odd degrees. Um, I'll see what the water temp is when I get to the lake. Um, so and uh, we'll see what happens. Um, when I get to the lake, I'll show you, you know, what the, the approach I'm going to take, what poles I'm taking, and what uh, what baits I'm going to toss out there to see if I can get some of these, uh, you know, April bass here in Pennsylvania. So thanks for coming along. I'll see you at the lake on fishingwithants.com. One thing before I go, I did want to show. Uh, I had a I had a uh, subscriber comment about my my shoes that have gotten pretty old. And uh, yes, they have. And those have now found the bottom of my garbage can. These are my new fishing shoes. So I forget what subscriber typed in. You know, hey dude, your shoes are talking on their own. And they were right. I tend to hold on to crap longer than I should. But these are my new Columbia fishing boots. They're waterproof. We'll see how they work. Uh, hopefully I don't fall in getting in today. But uh, that, there they are. So no more gray shoes for those of you that follow the channel. Uh, those hit the garbage can. Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Vance tossed them, so there's no going back. This is it. Let's see how they perform today on FishingWithVance.com. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm out at the lake. Uh, about to launch. This uh, this place does pose a little bit of a challenge launching, as you can see. This is a little smoother over here. Uh, there's a little bit of a drop off over there. Um, I thought about going no motor, but uh, just row it, but I see there's a little bit of wind, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. I think I'm just going to shove her off and then uh, and then just get on in and see what happens. Uh, strategy on the way back in, just so you know, this is a different load and launch, but I tied a rope to the back of my truck here, to the hitch, and through the line in the water, that way when I get in I can get a hold of that line uh, hopefully and uh, then I could pull myself in and kind of tether myself to shore because what happens is if I go to get out when it's like this and I haven't really beached myself the uh, the uh, the boat wants to slide away from me so I that's way I can at least hold on to the rope and but hey I got my waterproof uh, you know Colombian boots on so if they get a little wet you know we'll see Anyway, let's get this thing in the water and see if we can't catch some bass. Uh, I got flies jumping all over the place, and uh, it's getting getting as warm as it's going to be today. So let's see if we can get some uh, some bigger fish here today on FishingWithVance.com. All right, successful launch. I'm out in the way. Let's get situated. Here's what I'm going to use today to try to find some of these bigger fish. First off, I'm going to get the net ready. Obviously, I'm by myself. If I do hook a good guy, I want to be ready uh, to hopefully have a better chance of getting him in the boat. So I got him ready. All right, he's going to be right here. Hopefully, I got to use him. That'd be a good thing. Okay, brought the bigger table today so that I have a little bit more room. I know it's yeah. Let's uh, that ought to work right there. Uh, I've lost some nets here. That's why I'm fidgeting with this thing. I don't want to lose another one. So let's put it right there. I don't think that's going anywhere. All right. I'm going to get this out of the way because I don't need it right now. Let's get him down out of the way. Okay. The first thing, the next thing I'm going to do is put on my sunglasses so I can see a little better. All right. 
sorry for the adjustment. All right, I see the the weeds are starting to pop up. Oh, look at those shoes, so nice. <laughs> All right, so here's the strategy. I'm gonna I want to see what the water temperature is. I'm hoping that it's still close to 60 degrees, and uh, but we're gonna find out. But irregardless, I brought the shad wrap. See if I can bring that along the top in the non weedier areas. The fluke that's been working. I broke out Gary, a Sanko pegged. I don't know if we're ready for that, and then a whole bunch of other things. So we'll see what happens, and of course the mustard tube. Now I haven't done much on mustard tube at this lake, so that's not to say that it won't work. This water is not as clear as the other lake, so that mustard color may not be the way. I may have to switch to a different color, and that's fine. But let's see what the temperature is in the water. Uh, the way I understand it, um, this part of the lake is deeper and that part is more shallow and that's where they spawn so I'm definitely gonna cruise up there and see what we get but let's for now let's see what kind of water temps we're dealing with here so let's just see what we got so I think before I abandon this area, I'm gonna see how well I can throw this shad wrap. Now it's probably gonna pull a bunch of weeds. Oh man, I see the water's in the 50s. Wow, all the way down to 55. Wow, okay. Yeah, we have had, we have had some cold nights down to 54. Hmm. All right, so, you know, six degree drop of water temp, it's probably gonna have an impact, but. As an update, I, uh, I've come up to the high end of the lake where it's definitely shallow, I can see the bottom. I lifted the motor up and I'm just sort of rowing my way in back here. Haven't had a hit yet. Um, it just threw the husky jerk a few times, the Apollo, that kind of stuff. So let me just see if anybody's up in here. It's pretty shallow up here. The water up here is says it's 52, about the same, about 52.5. But I'm gonna throw. Let me throw my mustard tube around and just see if that can attract somebody. Let's see what this does. Through to advance, I might have a chance to catch a fish here. I've been skunked the whole time. And this might be my only bass of the day, so hopefully I can get him in. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna try to net him. I don't wanna miss him. I don't know how good I got him hooked. But there he is. Yes, off the schneid. Oh man, that's my only fish so far today. And I got him on the purple worm, of course. Let me move away from the bank and I'll show you this guy. He is a little chunkier, just like I said, but I've been here for probably a good, I don't know, I've probably fished a good two hours, at least an hour and a half. I went all the way back there, all the way around the edge there, and I caught that fish on the edge there, on a little bit out from the edge with a purple worm. Of course, that's what saved me is the, uh, Fish is cold. Of course, that's what saved me. The blue fleck, that's what did it, of course. Did have him hooked pretty good, but that's a nice chunky bass. And that's the kind they're in here. He's a little thicker. Um, 
but it's so cold the water temperature is still about 55 degrees he's my only fish today so far give me hope to keep trying so I thrown everything else under the Sun and caught nothing and I got this guy I'm gonna get him back that's a pretty nice healthy bass he's probably a good pound but that's a good one I like him uh, at least I didn't get skunked no skunk gotta love it visionwithvance.com let's get this guy back there we go well guys it's been super slow today and uh, today has been the definition of kitchen sink I've thrown literally every single thing that I brought with me today I think with the exception of a square bill just because I know with all the weeds it won't work it'll just catch weeds but uh, I have one bass in the boat as you saw um, I had another one hit the Robbie ribbon, so I put that on. I lost it. It, it, uh, it broke off as soon as I set the hook. So I tied another one on, but then no hits after that. Um, the water temperature is 56, so it's three degrees warmer than when I started this morning. Um, I am hearing some splashing around as if there is some fish activity. Uh, the wind has picked up a little bit. And um, I throw in shad wrap, um, all kind of stuff. So now everything's getting into the weeds. It looks like I have about maybe a foot of depth before I'm going to dredge up weeds. Uh, maybe a few more here and there. So it's difficult to get through the weeds. Um, so I don't have my topwater Rapala with me, but I do have this. It's known as a Bomber Long A. It's made by Bomber. I used to fish this for striper back in the day. Because they look just like uh, the bait fish or L-Wive that are in the lake that held stripers. So this is sort of a jerk bait, a jointed jerk bait. And um, I've tossed it a couple times. It's a little big for a bass lure, but maybe not here because the bass are bigger. I've caught them on it. But uh, it doesn't sink, it's suspending, um, so I can control it. I, I'm going to try this a couple times, go across again, and then if this doesn't work, then I guess I'll call it a day, but you know, we'll give it a shot. I got one bass, two total of three hits, one in the boat. Uh, definitely, it's been at least three hours I've been here. So I'm going to throw this bomber long A, and... Uh, reel it very slowly trying to avoid weeds I'm gonna fish right here at the boat get in here get in here dude yes sir on the bomber long a he said don't go home yet Vance <laughs> oh yes you gotta love it all right all right all right all right all right I'm gonna get you back right here at the boat wow easy baby easy all right guys well the bomber long a i'm gonna wash this guy off a little bit the bomber Long A produced for bass number two. It was a long time coming, but I got her. Oh, that's a nice one. That's probably good. Uh, that's a nice two pound bass right there. She hit that right at the boat. I hope my camera's running. I don't know if it is, but I got good pictures otherwise. That made the trip worthwhile. I'll be back. Thanks for joining me. i let you go. Hey, you never know guys, you gotta throw everything with the kitchen sink out there and that's what happened here and that bass smoked that thing. So, oh man, that was great. <laughs> Made it all worthwhile. I was just about to go home. Now I gotta throw this around a little longer. <laughs> Let's see if I can get another one on Fishing with Vance Dog off. I could get another one here. This feels like a good one. He's on the Bomber A and uh, he smacked it pretty good. This might be net worthy. I'm gonna get a look at her. Oh yeah, that's a good bass. Oh yeah.
Yeah, that's a good one. Get in there. Yes, sir. Bomber A. Yes. I hate to catch my net, but I don't want to miss this guy. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a nice bass. I'm going to have a little work getting him out of the net, but that's okay. Fishing with Vance. That's what I came for. I got to get her back. She's full of eggs. I got. I had to cut her out of the net, but oh man, I got to get a picture with her of her. That's okay. This is a, this is a nice bass here. All right, guys. I got her back in the water. I got a mess here, but I can't complain. That fish was. Uh, she was full of eggs, so I'm gonna guess. I don't know probably close to three pounds that was a good fish uh, all of two and a half maybe three pounds I mean she was not long sorry for moving my thing I'm not long but she was chubby but she was full of eggs so oh man that was awesome uh, the bummer long a coming out of nowhere this is the throwback lure day that's what the, I think the thumbnail is gonna have to be throwback the blue the KVD blue fleck worm caught a, a fish and now the bomber long A that is currently caught in my net. Uh, I'll have to cut that out of there, but man, it's got two nice bass. I was thinking about going home, but now I can't. I just caught two bass, so I'm not going anywhere. Let me get reset, go back up, see if I can snag another one here. Oh, getting excited now. Fishingwithvance.com. Well, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. Um, I'm going to toss this around a couple more times, see if I can't hook another bass. But all in all, uh, I would have to call it a successful trip. Uh, came to this lake knowing I wasn't going to get the numbers, but maybe some bigger fish. And sure enough, I did catch some bigger fish. Um, you know, nice two and a half, three pounder there close to it. And then definitely a two pounder. And, uh, and uh, I don't know what the other one weighed, but three nice quality fish, one really nice one, biggest one of the season for me so far. Um, so thanks for joining me, I really appreciate it. Um, I really love the comments, I'm getting a lot more comments, which I appreciate. Let me know how you guys are doing, what you're fishing for and how it's going, and um, I'll do the same. So that's gonna do it for today's episode. I'll see you next time, probably using the One-Eyed Bomber A on fishingwithvance.com. Burn out.